back at it again with another reaction video, man. We go on 10 for 10 this week. Literally, 6 to 10 videos for you guys each day. Seventh video of the day. Today, we got a really interesting one, man. If you're with your family, your friends, your spouse, your loved ones, gather around for this one, man. Y'all gonna wanna see this one. Hanson versus Predator. Former mail carrier string. Former mail carrier sting, man. We about to get into this. Hold on. Give me one second, though. I need some water. Give me some water. I'm thirsty as shit. Thirsty as shit. But we back on. We back on, man. You feel me? Hope you guys are enjoying your day. Staying lit. Staying blessed. Last but not least, get into that bag. If you don't get the bag, nobody's going to get it for you, man. Let's get it. Chris Hansen type shit, man. Let's get it. Three, two, one. Let's go. Like everything, man. It's a rainy night like in Connecticut, man. and this 40-year-old guy thinks he's going safe to out cuddle there. in bed. Y'all be safe out there, too. Year -old follow your dreams and follow your goals. That's all. What you say? It's a rainy night in Connecticut, and this 40-year-old guy thinks he's going to cuddle in bed with a 13-year-old girl named Bailey. But a 30 year old guy, a 30 year old John no. Dupe will find out that this hookup has no happy end. Come on, bro. This guy Dupay already is the latest monster we've caught in our all new investigative segment, Hanson vs. Predator. We're working with the Fairfield, Connecticut police and the online predator watchdog group, Tetrad Core. All right. They post profiles right. on apps like Whisper using innocuous pictures of actual underage girls. We're protecting their identities. Dupay contacts not one, but two of our decoys. Hey, boo. Who are you? I'm not shy. More than a dozen hidden cameras throughout the sting house yeah, capture lit. his every move. We lit. Our fence cam captures this him going to the door with fuck. a bag of gifts. Our decoy is a 19-year-old theater student who could easily pass for 13. Okay. She takes him inside where our kitchen cam records the conversation. And yeah, she's and actually 19. So. What did you bring? Presents. What do you got? Show me. I see, bro, did I see this? Don't tell me I seen it. Nice. What's in the bag? What kind is it? Thank you. She asked for snacks, and he's more than happy to oblige. A bag of chips, a caramel. This nigga, look at he knows, bro. He's looking around like this. Bottle of iced tea. It's not nice nice even weird. Oh this is crazy. Are you nervous? Yeah, I'm really nervous. Why? I don't. Know, I've never done this. Have you? No. Nope. So what do you want to do? A hug. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, Chris Hansen comes out now. Hey, hey. Yeah, see, right around that store over there, front I feel like you already know. Oh, right there, please have a seat. This is bugging. That you're 30, how old are you? She says 13. You say, you Probably got a family and kids at home, bro. Family day, and kids at home. 14 next month. You want the dumb shit. That's pretty clear. You remember that, right? Mm hmm. You do. This does not look very good for you, John. The chat, the appearance. This face is getting red as a chocolate. fucking tomato. Did you bring condoms with no. you? Not in your pockets. No. He's lying. But you see how this looks. Absolutely. I mean, why don't you just tell me what you were really up to? Just to hang out. He's sweating to know her, too. You know, and to know her. Bro, look at yeah. all that. Bro, look at and all that. If you were the parent of a 13 year old girl, would fuck you be comfortable with that? Something to tell already. I don't know why the fuck we still looking at him. I mean, it depends how the. I mean, if I'm a good person, you know, like. Yeah, but typically good people don't meet strangers online, talk about sex, and then go over to visit, and within three minutes, ask for a hug. Fast. Fast. I mean, all they did was just ask for, you know, a hello hug. That was it. With a 13-year-old girl. Walked right in the house. This nigga sweating bullets. Well, she told me. Sweating yeah. fucking bullets. Does that make it right? If you're, bro. Annoying. If your 13-year-old daughter told a 40-year-old, 30-year-old, whatever, 20-year-old man to come into the fucking house, you would not like that. So why the fuck would you think that shit is wrong? She's 13. Oh, I would never, I wouldn't have never with the cursing, but this is crazy. You know, without talking to her, you know, without with the cursing, but this is crazy. Now, you talked about spending the night. 
here tonight? Well, uh, yes or no? Yes. It depended, you know, like, if she had to wake up in the morning, you know, like, if I was going to stay did, here. Did she have to go to school? She said she didn't have to go to school today. I mean, tomorrow. So you could just spend the night and hang out with a 13-year-old girl. That's cool. Well, I mean, I didn't plan on it. You but talked you did, and you went over the... Bro. I mean, I was going to leave after the football so, game. Piss me off. Unless you spent the night. No, I didn't plan on spending the night. Well, you talked about having cannolis, a little dinner. Yeah. So, sounds like you were going to have a special little night with your 13-year-old date. I mean, all I was ever doing was just coming here to watch the game. I tried to solicit a 13-year-old girl online using graphics. And it don't matter support. if you fucking lost in the game, nigga. She's 13. What do you think? Fucking desperate that? ass, nigga. Sir, I'm not, I'm not like that. I'm a bad guy. The pickup line John Dupay used to seduce a 13-year-old girl will turn your stomach. You tell her, I would love to be the first guy to make you blank if you wanted me to, and I wanted to. Feel me oh inside. Bro, this shit. This shit dead ass hurts my stomach. They're not fucking capping. This shit dead ass hurts my. What the fuck is. Has that line ever worked for you before? Right now. No. This nigga's tripping. Then why do you do that now? There was no. I mean. Well, what am I to make of this? I, there was no intentions made by it. That shows clear intent. Clear. He obviously flunked Don Juan 101. Remember, this is the same guy who made that creepy phone call. Hey, baby. He then tries a different oh, and equally disgusting approach, my. bragging about his mad party skills. And then you talk about that you and a bunch of people snuck into a mansion and partied for days. Where was that mansion? Um, that was a while ago. How long? Maybe eight, nine years ago. Oh, so it was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. How does this look? How does that look? John, you tell me. How does it You're look? You're bugging. If you were me... I am not in a cap. This nigga is fucking tripping. That I honestly made a mistake. That you made a mistake. Well, that's true. That you can't write off. There's cops waiting for you. And how would you define that mistake? Not to talk to girls like online. <laughs> or try to come over and have sex with them. I wasn't trying to come over and have sex with John, them. John, you want me to read it again? I mean, what'd you mean by that? This, bro, I'm not even gonna I'm say it again. This man is fucking stupid. I was just playing with her, seeing weird ass nigga. I'm not playing with her, but you know, just seeing like where she was. You know, like she was 13. Did we? Fucking chat. I, mean, I never had sex with her. I mean, I didn't plan on coming here to have sex well, not with her tonight because I walked in and I didn't plan on it. You didn't plan on it. Come on, you talked about it. Like, that wasn't my intentions. I talked to her all day today about just coming over, watching the game, and just hanging out. Salads. About what? You talked about salads. About, like, food and stuff? Yes. Yeah, while we're watching the game. This is a whole different kind of food here that you're talking about. Terrible. Terrible. Call up, my nigga. Fuck out my you're name. You're a bit of a fix here. I'm terribly sorry, sir. What are you fucking saying sorry to him? Well, there's something you need to know. Yeah, and the that rest is on of Chris you dumbass. And this is an investigation called Hanson versus Predator. The look on Dupay's face says it all. Sir, if you want to leave, you should go out that door right there. He knows what happens next. Police call and, right, 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 right. and weapons. He's unarmed and put into the back of an unmarked police car. Our dash cam shows him being hauled off to police headquarters where he's booked, fingerprinted, and poses for a mugshot. You look sad as fuck now. You're willing to talk to us. In the interrogation room, he cries as he signs away his right to remain silent. His forehead is wrinkled with worry as he's about to speak to detectives. She's a little girl. Do you see that in the pictures? Do you see she's a little girl? Look. If she wanted to have sex tonight, would you have? No. I swear on my little boy, I wasn't going to have sex with her. I really wasn't. Well, then help us understand this. You want her to feel you inside her. I mean, I know Niggas what that means. Niggas, I know. I should never have said no like that. 
watch but closely and you'll see a classic Fucking case pedo. of good cop, bad cop in action. Yeah. What would have stopped you? She was all Bro, over you. I don't know. I, just told I her. have no remorse for people like this, bro. Get this nigga out of my fucking face. Get this guy out of my fucking face. Shit, piss me Until the Until Chris fuck Hansen, off. you were gonna spend the night. No, I was gonna get picked back up. Tonight? Yep. By sitting here and bullshitting us, which we're not believing, obviously, that you're there to watch a football game is crap. <laughs> So you were lying in the text messages? Huh? Were you lying to her in the text messages then? I wasn't going to have sex with her. I don't even know why I said those things. He said them in the text, and that evidence was so Nigga, overwhelming dumbest that he pleaded guilty to three felony counts. Attempted second degree sexual assault, attempted risk of injury to a minor, and attempting to entice a minor in an obscene act. Fucking I was in weird the ass bully. Watching the monitor as John comes in. Hold on. And we see Hold this up. from time to time. The, the potential predator comes in, almost swoops in. Nah, that's fact. On the decoy. And it... All right, man. Y'all let me know how y'all like that, man. That shit was crazy. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. As always, uni out.